So we were able to take the bandages off today. It looks like a big diaper that was on my shoulder with some uh, pads, which uh. are kind of yucky. And I'm trying to hide the yuck. All right. Um, apparently, I have five holes, you said? Five holes in your head. Oh, I mean in your arm. <laughs> Show them the holes. Okay. We got this one over here. Just don't touch hard because <laughs> they hurt. This one. We haven't gotten these little bandages off. This one here. Ow. This one here. This one here. Yeah. And then there's that one. And then there's one in the back end of her head right there. Yeah. And <laughs> um, he tried really hard to make sure he didn't mess up my tattoo, which I appreciated very much that he did that. Um, I still am in a lot of pain, um, but I'm icing. I'm just using my regular ice packs at this point. Um, that ice contraption thing was hard. Every time I had to get up to do anything, I had to have Kevin unhook me. So it was annoying to Kevin. So, um, about last night. Well, we didn't get started on our, um, editing until around 10 o'clock last night. And at that time we got a phone call from Megan saying she was stranded in San Diego. Um, I had to go run and pick her up. So that's a two hour round trip or four hour round trip. So I wasn't going to be home until two in the morning. So that's why Val put up a short uh, family emergency. No one was harmed. Everybody's okay. We just didn't, weren't able to uh, get a vlog up last night because uh, I had to go run and pick up Megan and nobody else could do it. I did, um, oh, uh, it's just my life, CA recommended me download a voice recorder so I did that and that's how I was able to answer respond back to everybody's comments so I did respond back to everybody's comments and um, it may not have made sense on some of them because um, it didn't always pick up exactly what I was trying to say I tried to catch it all and fix all the mistakes but you know I did the best I could, so hope everybody uh, enjoyed that. We will probably try and get three vlogs up today because we are still going to do our Tag Tuesday. It's just going to be a Tag Wednesday, and we're going to do... We had enough content yesterday to publish a whole vlog, and then today we'll be putting up our normal vlog. So. And this time it won't say the zoo. <laughs> oh, you missed it, I'm so sweet and innocent. I wouldn't chase a cat. Right, Kane? <laughs> Boomer's like, yeah, you wouldn't chase a cat, would you? <laughs> hey. Guess... <laughs> uh, trying to sleep here. Get your stinky feet open. <laughs> that tastes bad. What do you think, Boomer? I was like, what's going on? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Boomer. Hello, everybody. 
everybody. I got a package in the mail. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> you can't open it. You can't. It's not yours. Watch your knee. Last thing I need is to take you to emergency with lacerations. I got it. I got it. Get that hit? Okay. I got it. Hold on a second. It. Hold on a second. Shut up. Don't talk to her that way. All right. Bubbles. I can't squeeze them. More bubbles. Ooh, ooh, it's heavy. What's this? The white world of polar bears. <laughs> okay. It's from Angie. I hope your shoulder recovers quickly and smoothly. I thought you might enjoy this while you have some downtime. Love your friend, Angie Lupus Life. Does it say the same thing? Yes. to read upside down. Let's kick this box out of the way. Ooh, ooh, look at the polar bears. That's a white fox. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have fun leaving the land. Oh, look at the pretty polar bears. All right. I want a pet. Oh, look at it! Well, that's the one they're playing with the dogs. Mm-hmm. You see, polar bears are not mean. Everybody says polar bears are mean. Polar bears are not mean. They want to be our friends. They do. Look at how cute that is. Isn't he cute? He looks mad to me. He doesn't look mad. He's saying, come roll in the snow with me. <laughs> He's saying... Get in my mouth. No, he's saying, come <laughs> roll in the snow with me. Look at oh. All right. Hello, everybody. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout Outs. Yay. Yay. We're on the wrong side of each other again. No, we're not. Oh, we are. Are we? No, we're not. Oh, okay. Just don't touch me. And we'll be happy. Don't touch right. my pillow. Okay, so. Okay. So. Are you making fun of me? No. You can't make fun of me. You have to be extra nice to me. Why? Because I'm in pain. Oh, okay. Tell them, everybody. Okay. <clears throat> so, Mr. Fun Guy 65 from Twitter. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Shout out to you. <laughs> Welcome back, Big D. We missed you. Welcome back, Ryan Beckham. We missed you. Oh, where the heck are you guys down? Accredited 83, welcome to the neighborhood. John 
Is that a U? Aberic? 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 Yeah, I think so. I didn't write these. Somebody was helping me write these out. John Aberic? Aberic. Welcome to the neighborhood. Jessica M. Welcome to the neighborhood. Uh, Chanel Lenardis. Chanel Lenardis. Welcome to the neighborhood. Seth Chapman. Shout out to you. JKCJFM. <laughs> Welcome. I'm not even going to ask what all that stands for. Nah. Anyway, that's all the shout-outs I have, but my question from a few days back was, how do you relieve your stress? And we got lots of answers from drawing, um, watching vlogs, of course, watching the neighbor's vlogs, hot baths, um... Cleaning, sleeping, eating, drinking, um, meditation. Oh. Tanya Longley's got a really good one. She cuddles with her kitty cat. And I, I posted pictures on Instagram and Twitter with Mojo cuddling with me the other day. Um, obviously, she knew I wasn't feeling well. Um, I love my singing monsters, watching YouTube. Yes, watching The Neighbors. Just Joey, he handles his stress by eating. Not a good idea. No, just Joey. Besides, you still haven't sent me any saltwater taffy. <laughs> Brendan Windsor, he watches vlogs, our vlogs, other vlogs, comedy vlogs, and he does meditation. Um. Yeah. Uh. Susie here does scrapbooking, um, singing, shopping. Shopping is it is good for stress, but no, <laughs> I can't do that because I, I I put us. Then she stresses me out. Yeah, yeah. So um, YouTube guy, his way of reducing stress is gunpowder and lead. Now, I don't know if you mean the song Gunpowder and Lead or if you mean actually going out to the gun range or into the woods and shooting gunpowder and lead at a target or something. Because that's pretty cool. That's a great way to, to relieve stress. Um, video games, lots of different ways to relieve stress. I like to relieve stress by going for a nice walk when I can, which I can't. Um, meditating candles a nice bath if I can but I don't like hot baths so ow I bit my tongue I don't like hot baths so I have to take a lukewarm bath <laughs> how, how do, what do you do to relieve your, relieve your stress uh, well I try to work around the house I try to put floors in <laughs> it's gonna take me weeks and he tries to work in the garage and stuff yep. Okay, my question for tonight is, if you had an extra hour in the day, a 25-hour day instead of 24-hour day, what would you do with that extra hour? I know what I'd do, but I ain't saying. <laughs> it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll. Okay, so I don't know if anybody remembers what our trivia question was from two days ago, three days ago. I don't remember what it, when it was, but it was about the birds, 1963. And the question was, um, what did they do to keep the birds from uh, flying off, just uh, standing around? Just, In the final scene. Just hanging out. Uh, according to Rod Taylor, and I have to say according to Rod Taylor because I don't think anybody else is uh, willing to say uh, they got the little buggers drunk in wheat and whiskey. So uh, wheat they, and whiskey. Uh, they were uh, more or less staggering around uh, the set that day. And uh, so that's the answer to that one. And that was the, 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 the people who got that one was Terry Johnson, 
The Abyss, 92882, Bambi S, Greg Myers, and Tonda Longley. Now, Yay! So tonight's question has to do with Dawn of the Dead. I like Dawn of the Dead. Now, there's two versions of it. Obviously, there's the original 1978 version, and then there's the 2004 remake. Now, I like them both. Yeah, they're both they're good, but they're different. However, they did have one thing in common. They both spent a lot of time in a mall. Which mall did they use in each of the movies? Yeah. There you have it. There's your question of the day and your trivia question. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by and check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations PI with the Neighbors, PIN, and Megan's Arts and Crafts. We will see you guys all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.